We live on a ship and the ship that we live on right now is being invaded by pirates. So according to Admiralty law, because we lived in the waters of our mother's womb, we can be ruled by it. And because of that, we've been literally turned into currency. Currency, currency, and then currency, because what we see manifests into reality. See, we are caught up in this word spell where they got us operating from the space of a sea monster, but we're actually human beings. You see, you can birth a vessel to the dock and you can also give birth to a vessel, which is the human body. And then that doctor docks the baby from the vessel of the mothership. So when you dock the vessel or when you dock the ship, you are given a certificate of manifest. And when that baby is birthed into this world or this vessel enters into the world around us, you are given a birth certificate. Because when you deliver products from one place to another, you're shipping those products to your destination. And then those products, they get delivered just like a baby is delivered through the waters of the womb. When you were living in your mother's womb, you were surrounded by amniotic fluid. So in other words, you can technically say that you were living in the sea. So metaphorically, we were all connected to the mothership through the navel of the umbilical cord. That's why the bank uses words like cash flow, liquid asset, drowning in debt, streams of income, because they understand money is an energy, it's a current. And using our mind's eye, if we look at the landscape from a bird's eye view of a city, it looks just like a motherboard. And that motherboard is full of currents of energy, which is us that allow the city to grow and to build and to run. You see, the money that we use in this system is not real. It's only real because we make it real. But what's real is the currency of energy that exists all around us. And that currency of energy exists within us because our body is made up of 75% water. And because Rockefeller said that he did not want a nation of thinkers, he wanted a nation of workers, we have literally been veiled to the power that exists literally within us. If you ever paid attention to the word veil, veil is an anagram for the word evil. And if you think about it from a biblical perspective, the love of money is the root of all evil. It's not the money, it's the love of it. To love an inanimate object on by a level is dangerous because you're taking the power that exists within you and now given it to another entity but we are the currency and they made special laws to put that in place so if the higher powers that be understand how much of value we are as currency why don't we see the same thing for ourselves